Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I don't know. Anyway, greetings from Japan. Uh, December the, uh, I think it's the 10th. <clears throat> and today we have uh, 2012 March uh, FJ Cruiser, Toyota FJ Cruiser. Uh, it has uh, 59,000 miles and with an auction grade 4.5, so the car is absolutely lovely. It's a one owner, full service history, and just a really nice example. Um, you, they don't come better than this at um, 2012. Anyway, let's take a look at it. It's a um, nice bright yellow color, well, it's three-tone, white roof, yellow body and black uh, trimmings all around. Um, it has a dealer option TRD alloys with um, Goodrich tires, I believe they are. Uh, they are in excellent condition. Um, yeah, a very expensive option. Um, it's also got the roof rack, which is a nice option. Um, not so many come with a, with a roof rack. Uh, and they don't offer it anymore. You, you can't, um, as far as I know, you can't buy them. It's got the side steps. The little uh, lights, um, kind of like fog lights or something, I'm not sure exactly. They're LED lights that can actually turn off when you open the door. Um, as you can see. Of course, so we'll, as usual, there's the Dropbox link of uh, 60 or so odd photographs showing the car in detail. And of course, comprehensive photographs of the underneath. Also, you've got a, a full set of five of these TRD wheels. <coughs> so you've got the spare as well. Quite often these cars come with aftermarket wheels, but you'll only have four and the spare will be either non-existent or a different size. Not so useful. The uh, luggage area looks like it's never had anything in it. Uh, certainly no pets. Of course, we all love pets. I've got two terriers myself, an Airedale and a Norfolk. Okay. It's got, it's got a rear light already. I presume you could convert that to a fog light if you wish standard muffler <clears throat> rear camera and also it has uh, rear parking sensors so the big vehicle with a big wheel on the back both the camera and the parking sensors are very sensible options of I think they're actually standard features on this car Personally, I think this model looks particularly well with the bright colors. And they do a lovely orange, a yellow, a red. Uh, we have one in South Africa. We have a <coughs> one of these in South Africa we use every day. Uh, it's a black one though, but still fantastic to drive. And uh, it really doesn't matter where you're going because in South Africa, you uh, do encounter a lot of potholes and then with these, this car you just kind of glide over them again it's a 2012 march uh, with 59,000 miles i think it's 95,000 kilometers grade 4.5 and genuine grade 4.5 and it was in a, a CA auction. Yeah, they don't use that grade on this age of car, and quite rarely. Okay.
That's very nice. I want you to take a quick look at the... And I'll do that in a second. Right? And we'll just pop around here. Take a look. As those... <laughs> anybody familiar with this model? It has the suicide doors. So it's... Um, I mean, I have traveled in the back of these. And it's a little cramped. And the back, the back seats don't recline any further than that. But I've, I've traveled three or four hours in them, and uh, it's fine. So. Oh, we just recently went up to a game, game reserve in Limpopo, and uh, yeah. My son was driving. Okay, so the neighbor wants to come out. You'll have to wait a second. The um, I'm just going to give you this quick look around here. We just started up to show you the uh, warning lights all off, as you can see, and um, it has has rear diff lock. Of course, got the low, high, all the usual things you'd expect in a four-wheel drive of this type. It's got nice sunshades on the sides as well as the front. And um, it's got various controls for the fogs and the HID lights. Uh, and cruise control. The interior is, is as immaculate as the outside, which is very, very nice. The armrests, everything, it's just perfect. And, hang on a second, I'm just going to show you the engine. Oh good, I think she's just warming up her car. Okay. As you can see, it's just very, very nice. If you are seriously looking for one of these, then this is definitely will be the, the cheapest available in the UK by a long way. And the other thing about it is it's a totally standard car. I, uh, well, the TRD alloys are a dealer option, but uh, other than that, it's totally standard. As you can see, it's a grade 4.5 BB, which is basically the best grade you could ever get for a 12, well, for a 10 year old car with 95,000 kilometers, 59,000 miles. This is a U2 on the roof. There is one small, very insignificant little dent on the roof. Um, probably from when they were putting something on the roof rack. And has rubber front mats, which are kind of sensible if you're for a four-wheel drive. Um, yeah, I think that is about it. Okay, my dear neighbor wants to leave, so I better, she does rent the land from me, but still, anyway. 2012 March um, with 59,000 miles. If you're looking for one of these and uh, yellow is a color you like, personally I really like it. If I was going to have one of these I'd have it in yellow or orange. Anyway, it's available. Um, please talk to Paul at JAA and uh, he can uh, arrange it for you. And we can ship it. These these days we're shipping in containers uh, rather than Roro, uh, which is a lot safer, less likelihood of any damage, and also it's quicker. Uh, it's only uh, it's only 30 days to Felixstowe, or 28 days, I think, something like that. Anyway, thanks for watching and. We are a UK-based personal car import agent trading since 2004.
We have a proven track record supplying thousands of Japanese cars direct from Japan to customers throughout the UK. Working as your appointed agent for a fixed commission, we provide a four-step personal car import service. This is an opportunity to cherry pick and safely buy the best high-grade, low-mileage cars direct from Japanese car auctions at export trade prices for personal import to the UK. You will make large savings on UK retail prices while buying the best quality cars available in Japan. It's a genuine win-win opportunity. Before the auction starts, background checks and hands-on inspection are carried out by the Japanese staff. Under Japanese law, any accident history or mileage discrepancy must be declared by the auction and shown on the auction report. The truth is the best cars normally stay in Japan. They are bought by Japanese dealers for resale because the best cars will pass a strict Japanese roadworthy test, known as a shaken. Shaken failures are seen in Japan as fits for recycle or export. Many turn up in the UK without the auction port to maximize the dealer's profit margins. So it's vital to see a genuine translation of the auction report before the sale starts. Once we have found a particular car, we next arrange our hands-on inspection to confirm the condition matches the auction report and take a large number of photos. Keep in mind we are not car dealers buying and selling for profit. Why supply bad cars? When it's just as easy to supply a great car from the fountain of supply and simply keep adding to our long-established superb track record. Check out our customer reviews or head to our YouTube channel found on our website to see the quality of the cars we supply. To learn more, pick up the phone and speak to us direct without obligation. Ask for Paul. Telephone 01625 560 or mobile 07989 560 Our email sales at japautoagent.com.